Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to another video tutorial under the javascript for beginners playlist and we are way ahead in this entire playlist in fact we are on jquery ui video tutorials which we've been going through since the past couple of videos in this entire playlist and in this video tutorial we are going to be taking a look at another widget which is provided in jquery ui which is the message box widget now if you've been watching this entire playlist initially we started off with plain javascript vanilla javascript then we moved on to jquery and now we are on to jquery ui which is basically another library built on top of jquery and jquery ui is basically built on top of jquery library itself that is the core jquery library and it is used to enhance the user interface hence the name jquery ui so this was just a short recap i'm pretty sure you must be knowing all this if you've been following this entire playlist but let's get to the tutorial now as you can see on the screen we have a basic html document you can see the code on the left and we have the output on the right so i have a h2 tag which says message box in jquery ui then i have a h3 tag a button which i have added over here which says click to show message box and then another division i've given it an id of message box i've given it a title of message box and i've given a custom class which adds a purple border to it so in the style.css you can see i have this class my divs which gives a 2 pixel solid border it's a purple color border and padding of 5 pixel okay so this is basic html i'm pretty sure you can type this if you've been following this entire tutorial and at the bottom obviously we have the two scripts that is the jquery library that is the core library and jquery ui library okay on the top we have the three css also these are the three which are related to the jquery ui library and then this one is our custom style.css so this is the entire folder hierarchy i'm just giving a quick recap i'm pretty sure you must be having all this if you've been following this tutorial series and now what we're going to see is we're going to see another widget which is a message box now in basic jquery what happens is let's say when we click on this button we want a message box to show so we can use the inbuilt javascript alert function right so let me just show that quickly so in the script i'm going to use the selector and i'm going to select this button so using its id btn1 i hope you know what are selectors we've already gone through selectors in this tutorial series i'm going to say dot click so that's how we handle events in jquery it's little different than the plain javascript inside this i'm going to say function and here i can say alert button clicked okay so since we are running the live server plugin our website is also live and all the changes have been reflected over here and now if i click on this button you can see the alert box pops up and you can see the message button clicked but what we want is we want a good looking user interface for the message box you know we want a modified or custom message box and you know at times when you visit a website first time you get a big message box which has some privacy policy and which has some conditions and we we agree to those conditions right and only then we get to enter the website sometimes we get some notice that this website uses cookies click yes if you agree to accept the terms and so on and so forth right so those message box are pretty different and the user interface is much better right so to create that kind of feature that is the user interface we can use this widget which is known as message box so instead of this basic alert box what i'm going to do is you can see this entire division this is a static division which is having an id of message box so i'm going to select that so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to say dollar hash message box so that's how you select html elements with ids and i'm going to say dialog okay so this is that inbuilt jquery ui method which will select this entire division that is this entire division which has this h3 tag that is this is dummy title it also has a image of the telesco logo and it has a button so it will take this entire division and it will create a dialog box out of it so let's see how this works i'm going to click on this button and there you go you can see a complete message box was created now you can drag and move this along this entire website also so if i just maximize this you can take this message box and drag anywhere you can close it you can see there is a close button which comes by default we got a title of the message box also so you can see simply one line of code that is this dialog method got us this message box now right now the message box is at this corner so i'm going to just drag it over here so what this method did is as i mentioned it took this division and everything inside this division was converted and added into a message box so you can dismiss this message box by clicking this close button there you go it got closed if i again click on it again the message box comes up now obviously you can create this message box without the click function also so if i keep it over here automatically as soon as the web page is loaded this message box is automatically created because we are not calling it on any event we are directly calling it when the web page loads right in the script tag 
So let's keep it inside this button click only right now. So right now it is a division. When I click on this, it becomes a dialog box or a message box. So let's see what are the different custom options that we can add on to this dialog box or message box. So just like other widgets, which we've been seeing throughout this entire series, here also we can change a lot of things and we can add a lot of functionality to this widget by passing parameters that is the key value pairs in curly braces. Okay. So whatever you want to pass, you have to pass inside this method as argument in curly braces in key value pairs, right? So the first thing that we can do is we can add a title. So this has to be in double quote since it's a string. So I'm going to say this or I'll say custom message box. So by default, if I just cut this, if I click on this right now, it won't work because I've added these curly braces. But right now, by default, if I click on this, you can see there is a title coming in, which says message box. So this message box title is coming from this text over here. So if I remove this and now if I click on this, you can see the title is also gone. So by default, we have a title which is given to the division and the dialog method is going to see this division and see if there is a title and directly use this title by default, if you don't provide it, but we can also provide it as I mentioned in these curly braces. So I'm going to say title colon in double quotes. I'm going to say custom message box. And when we want to add more customizations, that is more key value pairs as parameters, you have to give a comma. And now if I click on this button, you can see custom message box comes up over here as the title. So let's see what all things more can we do over here. So right now you can see that this custom message box can be dragged anywhere onto the web page, right? So if you don't want this to happen, I can add one more parameter, which is draggable and I can say false. So if I say false, now if I open up the message box, you cannot select this. So I'm not able to entirely select this message box and drag and drop anywhere. If I make it true and now if I click on this button, now I can drag and move it on the entire web page. Okay. So if I maximize this, I can move it on the entire web page anywhere I want. Now there is one more parameter which can change the size of the message box. So if I add resizable equals to true. Now if I click on this, now you can see this resizable option is coming up and I can make this message box larger or smaller anyhow I want. So I can make this false also. So then I won't be able to resize the message box. Okay. Now what we can do is we can add custom height and width also. So you can see if I click on this button, now it is having a custom height also. So if I increase this height to 500, click on this button, there you go. Our message box becomes very large. So we can add that also. So I'm going to keep it 300. One unique property of this message box is sometimes what happens is, you know, when you visit a live website, this message box pops up first and it has some privacy policy and some agreements that you have to agree. And only then you can enter the website, right? Or let's say you have some ad blocker on. Sometimes you get that pop up, right? Please turn off the ad blocker. So until and unless you don't take that action or agree to the privacy policy, that message box doesn't quit. You know, you cannot do anything on the website other than that. So that property comes in by adding this property, which is known as modal equals to true. So what happens over here is if I click on this mes message box now, I cannot do anything on the web page. You can see I cannot select anything. I cannot click on this button also again. That is because until and unless I do not close this message box, I cannot have any action on the web page. So when I close this, only then I can select this text. Only then I can click on this button or copy this. So this is that modal property. When I say it's true, what happens is all the background that is everything on the web page becomes inaccessible or you cannot click on it or you cannot select it until and unless that message box is over there. So until and unless I don't interact with the message box or do the things that I have to do that is agreeing on the privacy policy or taking some action till then I cannot do anything on the web page. You can see now I'm trying to select it, but it's not able to select. I cannot even click on this button again. So when I close this message box, only then I can access it. So this is that modal true property. I hope you've understood it. Now, one last thing that I wanted to add over here is some button features. So right now we don't have any custom buttons. This button is something which is already there. We have created inside this message box, right inside this division. So if I just erase this and now if I click on it, that button is gone. But what if we want some custom buttons being added? in the jQuery code. So that can be done by adding buttons over here as parameters. So let me just type in the code and then I'll explain what is happening. So there you go. What I've done is I've created an array. So you can see this is square bracket. So if you followed the plain JavaScript videos, you know, these are arrays in square bracket and inside those arrays, we have two elements. Now these two elements are basically objects because they are in curly braces. Okay. So objects are in curly braces. So what we have is an array of two objects. 
now what are these two objects basically these two are buttons and this is the first button so it has a text of close the icon is ui hyphen icon hyphen heart okay and we can also add functionality to that button by accessing the click event over here so obviously the button has some events right now we are accessing the click event and on click we are saying that this function should be called in the dollar selector what i am saying is this so when i say this it means that the current element that is selected and obviously the current element is the message box so we are accessing the dialog method again and we are saying close so this is by default going to close the entire message box so i know this seems a little complicated because there are a lot of things inside the parameters and then we have sub parameters and so on but i have tried to structure them properly now the second button is okay because the text says okay again we have a icon i hope you know where we got these icons we have jquery ui inbuilt icons on their website i will drop a link to these names so these are standard names okay you cannot have any name over here there are some unique custom names which you can use over here as icons and then in this function also i am using the same icon and the same method i am calling to close the entire dialog box so let me just show you how it looks like when i click on this there you go you can see two buttons have been added close and okay so when i click on okay this message box closes because that's what we are doing over here this dot dialog and then we are saying close over here we could have said anything else we can call another alert box also i'm i'm saying alert in this i'm going to say hello just for testing purpose if i click on it and if i click on okay you can see alert box is called so you can pretty much do any function or anything over here on the front end if you want so this is just for demonstration purpose and you can see the icon of heart is over here you can select any of the icons from that website i'll drop the link of the number of icons which you can select okay so this was the different kind of customizations obviously there are still a lot more customizations with the dialog box and we've just scratched the surface so obviously i'm going to drop the documentation link that is the jquery ui documentation link which has all the different types of customization that you can do and basically there will be more parameters being added over here when you create the entire dialog box for the first time so you can go through the customizations you can try it out yourself so let me know in the comments if you've tried this out and that's it for this video guys i'm going to wrap it up over here for this dialog box widget if you like this video please give it a thumbs up do share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next video peace Thank you.